Every office needs an office library. The office library should be external and the project library should be embedded. That's typically the way it works, okay? And so kind of talking about that, here's our kind of, uh, I kind of alluded to that a second ago, but I just want to reiterate. Um, the basic three library methods is the ARCHICAD library, which is whatever current version you're using, right? So in this case, if you're on ARCHICAD uh, 21, you go to the ARCHICAD 21 folder, and you load your ARCHICAD library 21. If you have an office library, it's typically a linked, or if you're working in a, a, a teamwork BIM server capacity, it's a BIM server library, okay? In either case, it's a link, it's still you know, a, a library um, that's not embedded. <clears throat> and it's gonna take parts and sub-libraries that are used on your project types within your office. And ideally, these are different you know, parts and objects that are sort of office standard, uh, that you use on various projects. Uh, they're not necessarily project specific. And then, and, and, and of course, that's gonna have some sort of a path here, either again, into your BIM server library or linked externally um, in the system. Or third, you're gonna have a project specific library. As I mentioned, these are usually embedded. I recommend typically you embed your project libraries, that way it travels with the project and it contains only the parts used in that individual project. It should not contain parts from other projects. And that's why it's good to kind of create a project library here, and then you have your project parts that are part of that. I recommend if you're going to have an office and project specific objects that you actually name them in ways that uh, uh, you know these are your office objects and these are your project specific objects. And the best way of doing that is to have a prefix. So for your office library, you should have sort of, you know, um, you know, a, a prefix of if, if it's LMK for your office, put LMK in front of that for the folders and for the objects so that you start to distinguish those office objects from your project specific objects. I would recommend for your project specific, and I know it can get cumbersome, you know, because you have a lot of objects, but I think it's a great way of knowing what are your project specific objects versus your uh, office specific objects versus just ARCHICAD general objects. And so if your project specific objects, I would put a, um, a prefix with a project number in front of them. That way you always know specifically what are your project specific objects and separate from your others. And I think this is a really good strategy. Uh, one I recommend um, that helps you manage you know, um, these objects that you're using them um, within your projects uh, within the office. <clears throat> now, we have a couple ways to manage an office library. We have an open library system and a closed library system. I'm going to talk about the two, okay? Um, an open library system is one that is really easy to manage. Um, that's kind of the pro of it, right? Um, because it's just a folder on my system that anyone can have access to uh, and add new objects to. Uh, there's no gateway that you have to go through. It's really, really easy, simple to manage, simple to, 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 to deal with. The con, the, the, the negative side to it, is that bad library parts can be placed in the office library without review, which can cause file issues. It can cause, um, it, it just means that there hasn't been that systematized approach to only having objects that uh, that, that have gone through a sort of evaluation to make sure they meet office standards, meet um, uh, a certain level of, of um, uh, quality, et cetera. And so, you know, you don't want to see this report. I'm sure some of you have seen this from time to time. We don't like seeing that. And office, office time, oftentimes it can be a bad library part that also causes ARCHICAD to crash. So that's why I always preface open systems that, you know, it's good to evaluate stuff before you put it into your office library. So then we have a controlled library system. We have two ways of doing a control system, okay? Uh, the pro, of course, of a control system is that it controls the quality of objects and reduces issues in your loaded library. <clears throat> um, the negative, of course, is that it takes more time. It means someone in the office has to review um, those objects before they get added in and take the time to do that, which obviously takes someone uh, more time. Uh, but I think it's, it's, it, I think it's important to do. I think uh, that would be my preferred and suggested way to do it is to do it this way. 
Uh, there's two approaches to it. Um, you could just have a master office library folder with subfolders on your network server um, that uh, people just, you know, uh, that someone controls, right? Uh, and you just don't let anybody else, you kind of tell people in the office to, you know, send it to you and then you put it in there and then hopefully people follow that path. Um, or you can set it up, the folder up with sharing permissions. And uh, I would recommend doing that. That way, you know, if there is someone in the office, you're doing it that way, then uh, there's sort of a sharing permission set up so that only that person can read and write who's managing that folder and everybody else is just a read only folder that way. Uh, you can control that. I think that's a good way of doing it. You can also um, create a, uh, I'm sorry, and then once you've done that, then you load the office folder, okay? So you load the office folder, go to your library manager, load that master office library, and load it in. Now, you can also load the office library as an LCF. Let me describe what that is. That's a library container file. So what this allows you to do is, um, you know, even if you have that open folder system, uh, someone goes in, manages that, that folder, and then creates an LCF. This is what you load. So, for example, when you go to load the Archicad uh, library, uh, you know, you can't, could load it as an LCF. There's parts of it in there. And what it does is it takes library parts and it basically just creates a container rather than being individual folders. And so any time that you have an Archicad file open, you can go to the file menu, go to libraries and objects, and go create container. Okay, when you do that, it'll bring up a uh, dialog here that shows you currently what uh, your local libraries are. So right now you've got your embedded library, you've got your Archicad library 21, and you have your master office library that's loaded. And so this could be the person who manages your master office library, who has this kind of master file where he kind of works with the library parts. And then once, you know, he, you know, he wants to create a new LCF for everybody to um, access, he basically just goes to this and then he goes create. And then I would probably take the master off. At that point, you create the office library dot LCF, um, save it, uh, maybe into your office library. And, and then people can then access that master office library. And now it's a LCF file, not a folder file and they will actually load quicker um, it's also easier because you just have, don't have to worry about you know um, people putting stuff in there um, uh, by accident it's just a really good way to control stuff so that's another way you can do it is using the LCF if you don't want to do the, the loading the folder um, an LCF is a great way of managing controlling that